is a Windows 7 multi-touch uh, data visualization application. Uh, it's built using the Infostrat VE Bing Maps control and the Surface Toolkit for Windows 7. Um, the idea behind this is to provide a data visualization on a large format multi-touch monitor. So this could be something that is presented uh, to a group instead of typical uh, PowerPoint presentation uh, with, a, with a clicker. Now we've got a very dynamic touch-enabled interface for the data visualization. So what we're seeing here is uh, are some push pins, each one of them uh, showing a key performance indicator, or KPI. We've got the, uh, the green, yellow, and red indicators on here. And then we've even got some that are kind of highlighted with this flashing. Uh, because this is a touch-enabled interface, uh, I can filter those values just by clicking uh, this filter control. So you can see the uh, push pins uh, change their visualizations. The green ones have now disappeared. Uh, also, because this is a touch-enabled interface, on the map, I can pan and zoom by using touch. So it's a very dynamic interface. The other thing we can do is show touch-enabled charts. So let me go ahead and we'll change to a different region of the U.S. And now we have these uh, touch-enabled uh, charts that show my data. Uh, so these can be moved, uh, they can be scaled. Um, another thing I can do is, let's say that I want to compare Region 12 information to information in another region of the U.S. Uh, I click this button, it adds it over to this holding area over here, the dashboard. Uh, and if I click to a different region, now you see that the data has changed in these charts. Uh, but what I can do now is pull this chart out from region 12 and compare it to region 10, side by side. So if we switch the, the metric that we're looking at, you see the charts are dynamic and they uh, change. And so we can compare region 12, region 10. So let's go back to the US view. And now I'm going to show you a different way to look at the data. So we're looking at it now in kind of a, a 2D view. I want to look at a different set of data, and it's got a more of a 3D uh, representation. So I switch now uh, from that 2D mode to the 3D mode. And you can see that you know I can still manipulate the map. We can zoom in and zoom out and pan, just like I did in the 2D mode. But now my visualizations are more 3D, so they actually have a height um, value to them. Uh, I can still filter them out just like I did in the 2D, so as I click out the red push pins, those will go away, um, and we'll be left with just the, the white and the pink ones. So I'm going to demonstrate a different way to change the view of the data. Instead of using uh, the menu, I'm going to actually use the map itself and navigate to California. And when I navigate to California, you'll notice that um, some unemployment data is automatically overlaid on top of the map. I also have the legend pop up over here, and I can move it over, enlarge the legend to make it easier for the audience to see uh, the details, and reduce the size and move it out of the way. I also have a video player that popped up, and the video player can play some relevant, a relevant video about the state. Um, and I can zoom in video and also reduce the size of it and move it out of the way. And again, you know, we can zoom in to specific details or zoom back out. So this was our data visualization solution for Windows 7 Multi-Touch. My name is Josh Wall from InfoStrat. Thank you.